I'm totally inspired because Graham and Espresso has launched a showcase and so far 170 kilograms of stationery was raised but well, for everyone who needs it really awesome man oh man we saw such a dire need of schools with absolutely nothing we're mm. starting out in the northern cape and we came up with this concept of you know nothing is for free if you yes. want something you've got to earn it so if you want to have access to mentors you want a platform like Espresso gives you you've got to earn it so we said to schools out there gather 50 kilograms of station we'll connect you with the right kind of mentors we have had such an overwhelming result the first showcase we did 170 kilograms of stationery I mean they sold out at the shopping center that we were at unbelievable and we've got another one coming up this weekend at Cape Gate shopping center with some incredible mentors coming up it really really is such an inspiring thing um, Shimmy Isaacs will be joining me on stage Ashish Ganga Prasad from Esidengo oh, Prada wow. will be on stage we're gonna be there from 10 until 2 o'clock I was gonna this ask Saturday. about the time mm. so 10 till 2 p.m. at Cape Gate shopping center we okay. want to even blow the roof off and raise <laughs> even more but we've got five schools who have been able to sponsor themselves in this next stationary drive which is going to be phenomenal you want to see some brilliant young talent get there but it is just such a fun and inspiring way to spend a day so we want to raise half a ton on saturday absolutely amazing 170 kilograms raised so far because of you now speaking of people who are inspiring we're also visiting a primary school courtesy of expresso and making sure that we are teaching the parents and the teachers and enhancing their knowledge about educational videos take a look Edgemead Primary School in Cape Town is one of the first wave of schools using online resources daily to facilitate the learner's education. Websites can be accessed at home and schools to allow the children greater interaction and connectivity with their curriculum. The internet is a place where you can find lots of things and you could search almost everything and they'll have it. Kids are completely digital nowadays. They don't actually know how to read books, unfortunately. Um, and while it's a lovely sentiment and we'd love them to read more, they are digital kids. So they want to go and watch YouTube. They want to see things pop out at them and see things in color. They don't want to read black and white books. So for them, it's something that's far more appealing. We play the game of road signs because we have to learn more about it and then we have to do presentations about it and then we have to write about it. The street side game is because so uh, you can remember where you last clicked so you can find that other picture that you just clicked. And the money game is to help you counting with money and to show you how the money looks. We tend to use the Google uh, search engine quite a lot. Um, we all tend to look for a topic and then find sites that supply us with child-friendly um, sites and games and things that we could show the class. What we've recently done is something called the flipped classroom. So we will create a video that's tailor-made to our needs. So if I'm teaching adverbs, I will create my own video using one of the sites I've used is something called powtoons.com, um, which creates a little cartoon video um, of what I need to do. And I can put in my own little cartoon elements and I can import pictures into that or anything else that I want. Um, the nice thing about Powtoons is it's such a kid-friendly site. There's little animated cartoon characters all over the place. And then I do a, um, something called Screencast-O-Matic and I do a voiceover with that. And then we upload that to YouTube. Um, kids are then asked to go and have a look at home and go and watch this video at home. Um, and then they've done the research at home great benefit for the kids because it's there on YouTube all the time. They can go back and research it when they want to, when it comes to exams. Um, a lot of the time the parents don't always know our content um, and how to help their kids. So the parents get to watch the video as well. Grade fours. Today we're going to learn about collective nouns. Using Powtoons for the grade four specifically, we did one on collective nouns and it was work that they needed in class. They got to watch it, were introduced to various collective nouns and then they came back to school and created a worksheet or did a worksheet. Um, using these collective nouns that they had to fill in. A telecom broadband connection can be the difference between a good and a great education as the teachers, parents and learners can work together via online platforms. Right, so if I talk about food webs and food chains, what am I thinking about? What comes to mind? Jared. Different animals eat each other. A uh, food web is where one thing gets eaten by another. So sun gives energy to grass, grass gives energy to plants, plants uh, then provide energy for something like a cow and then the cow gets eaten by humans and the energy transfer from one thing to another. With the grade fives we're going to be looking at creating a food web. Um, I've got a YouTube video to show them, Bill Nye the science guy and he creates a food web and it's a very funny 
um, little video for the kids to have a look at and they laugh and they quite enjoy the video but it hooks in their mind and when I mention food web again in later classes they'll remember this funny little science guy running around and creating the food web. Everything that eats, that's everything that's alive, is connected and we call these connections the food web. We do have a situation, obviously not all kids are lucky enough to have internet at home um, and we've tried to as a school make provisions we have got two computer centers and one of them is dedicated to computer club every afternoon so kids are able to go there research um, print off any pictures that they need for projects anything else like that and then a lot of the YouTubes can be downloaded to flash drive so kids bring their flash drive get scanned by the teacher they can take it home even if you're learning the content at home um, and the benefit there as well is that you get to watch it over and over again you come back to class and you do the worksheet so there'll always be a need for a teacher. Um, the actual content, as much as you've listened to it and learned it over the screen, still needs to be explained to some kids. Some kids are still more verbal. Some kids need to actually experience it and be, have that one-on-one -on -one connection with the teacher. So there'll always be a role for a teacher. Visit a Telcom store, dial 10213, or log on to telcom.coza to give your child the edge and connect to the best education. Turn your house into a connected home for only $3.99 per month. From SA's best fixed and mobile broadband network, call 10213 or go to a telecom shop.